This question is suggested by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. So what we're going to do is to simplify this expression without using any calculator. Pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, put your answer in the comment section down below. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. So our goal in this question is to simplify this expression square root of 45 plus square root of 1 plus square root of 45 plus square root of 2 plus all the way down to square root of 45 plus square root of 2024. In the denominator, it changed the positive symbol into negative. And our goal is to evaluate this without using any calculator. Now, our solution to this question is to let the numerator and denominator as x and y. Now, let's get the numerator or the x. Now, we have square root of 45 plus square root of 1 plus square root of 45 plus square root of 2 all the way down square root of 45 plus square root of 2024. Now, the only thing that is changed is this number inside the square root, which is followed by 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth until we reach 2024. So we can rewrite this x using summation notation. So if we rewrite this using summation notation, x is equivalent to the summation of square root of 45 plus square root of n from n equals 1 up to 2024. So this is the shortcut of this x. Now, we can also do this to the denominator y. And y, we can rewrite this as a summation of square root of 45 minus square root of n from n equals 1 up to 2024. Now, let's use the values of x and y. And let's use the summation notation. Now, at this point, let's recall some properties of summation. Now, let's have the first one. So, the summation of a sub i plus b sub i where i equals 1 up to n is equal to the summation of a sub i from i equals 1 up to n plus the summation of b sub i from i equals 1 up to n. Now, let's focus on the first property, but we can also use the second and the third property. But in this question, we will use the first identity. All right, now, let a be equal to this expression square root of 45 plus square root of n and let b be equal to square root of 45 minus n now what we're going to do here is to add these two equation all right so we have a plus b equals square root of 45 plus square root of n plus square root of 45 minus square root of n and what we're going to do here take note that this number on the left hand side rather on the right hand side is greater than zero so we can use this equivalent if n is greater than zero or equal to zero we can rewrite this n as square root of n squared so the right hand side of our equation we can rewrite this as this form so square root of the whole thing raised to the power of two now at this point we need to expand the expression inside our radical sign so we will use the format n plus m raised to the power of 2 must be equal to n squared plus 2mn plus m squared. Now, in this case, this is n and this is m. And if we expand this, the number or the expression inside the radical sign becomes 45 plus square root of n plus 2 times the product of square root of 45 plus n and square root of 45 minus n plus 45 minus n. Now, let's focus on this result. And notice, negative square root of n and positive square root of n is 0. And 45 plus 45 is just 90. Now notice, we have here sum and difference. So if we simplify this, we have 2025, which is 45 squared, minus square root of n raised to the power of 2, or simply equal to n. Now, let's focus on this result. And take note, this 90, we can factor this out as 2 times 45. And now, we can factor out also a factor of square root of 2 on the right-hand side of our equation. And if we do that, we get a plus b equals square root of 2 multiplied by 45 plus square root of 2025 minus 
n. Now, let's focus on this. And to finish this, let's divide both sides by square root of 2. And now, recall, a here is just square root of 45 plus square root of n. And this b is square root of 45 minus square root of n. Now, let's replace the value of a and b. Now, at this point, we will use this property of the summation notation. In short, we can say that 1 over square root of 2 multiply by the quantity, the summation of square root of 45 plus square root of n from n equals 1 up to 2024 plus the summation of square root of 45 minus square root of n from n equals 1 up to 2024 equals the summation of square root of 45 plus square root of 2025 minus n from n equals 1 up to 2024. So this identity holds true. So using this relationship. Now, at first, we add a and b, or we add these two terms. Now, if we subtract, we get something like this. So 1 over square root of 2, we have the same thing. This is x minus, because we subtract the two expression, we have a minus b. And if we do the same process a while ago, we get this equation. Now, let's focus on these two results. And then, what we're going to do is to divide these two equations like this. And notice, we have a factor of 1 over square root of 2 on the numerator and a factor of 1 over square root of 2 on the denominator. So we can cancel those out. So we have these expressions. Now, take note, the left-hand side of our equation is just x plus y over we have x minus y. So technically, this is our x. The whole thing is x. And this whole thing is y. Now, how about on the right-hand side of our equation? Now, if we expand summation of square root of 45 plus square root of 2025 minus n from n equals 1 up to 2024, we get something like this. Square root of 45 plus 2020, square root of 2024 plus square root of 45 plus square root of 2023 up to square root of 45 plus square root of 1. This is very familiar because this is just x in reverse order. But still, this is just x. Now, how about on the denominator? If we expand this, square root of 45 minus square root of 2025 minus n from n equals 1 up to 2024, we get the reverse of y. So the right-hand side of our equation is just x over y. Now, since her goal is to find the value, the ratio of x over y, so now let's focus on this equation. So we have x plus y over x minus y equals x over y. Now at this point, what we're going to do is to cross multiply. And if we do that, we get xy plus y squared equals x squared minus xy. Next, add xy on both sides. So we have 2xy plus y squared equals x squared. And then subtract y squared on both sides. So we have 2xy equals x squared minus y squared. Next. Next, what we're going to do is to divide all of this term by x times y. And if we do that, we get 2 equals x over y minus y over x. Now, we want x over y, and this y over x is the reciprocal of x over y. So, let t be equal to x over y. This is what we want to find. So, our equation now becomes 2 equals t minus 1 over t, or the reciprocal of t. Next. Multiply both sides by t. So we have 2t equals t squared minus 1. Now let's focus on this quadratic equation in terms of t. And let's solve for the value of t, which is what we want to find the value of x over y. Now, we arrange some terms a little bit or equate this to 0. And then, if this number is positive 1, this is a perfect square trinomial. So what we're going to do is to add 2 on both sides. Now we have t squared 
minus 2t plus 1. This is now a perfect square trinomial. And we can factor the right-hand side as t minus 1 raised to the power of 2. Now, if we get the square root on both sides, we have two possible values. We have negative or positive square root of 2. But take note, t here is technically a positive number. So, we only need square root of 2 and we don't need the negative square root of 2. So, we have square root of 2 equals t minus 1. Now, add 1 on both sides. So, we get the value of t as square root of 2 plus 1. But take note, t here is x over y. So the value of x over y is just 1 plus square root of 2 or square root of 2 plus 1. And this is the value of our expression a while ago. Therefore, our answer to this question, if we simplify this expression, we get a value of 1 plus square root of 2. And as always, we are done.